To make the model, you need to add a cylinder. So shift A and then add a cylinder. And we will go with the 24 words. So just give the value 24. And then you need to scale the cylinder along the Z axis like this. So S, Z. And then scale it along the Z axis. After that, you need to add one cube. And then scale it down that cube along the Z axis. And then you need to select one edge, corner edge. And then control I to invert that selection and delete the words. You will get this edge. And just adjust the scale of the edge. And after that, you need to add a screw modifier on that cube. And just adjust the sides. After give it the right position at the bottom side. So just adjust the value of the screw and iteration. And give the proper value as per the size of the cylinder. And step viewport should be 24. And then you need to apply that modifier. So just apply that modifier and make sure you give the step word because we have given the 24 words for the cylinder. That's why that's why the steps should be 24. And then you need to apply that modifier and adjust the scale of this screw object means that spiral. Then go to the edit mode, select everything and E to extrude it and then you need to scale it along the X and Y axis. So S and then shift Z to scale it along the X and Y axis. So you can add a little bit of thickness on the model. So you can use your extra mode to adjust the thickness or you can press alt s to scale it along its normal then you need to add the center loop cuts like this and then select the inner edges you can use the shortest path selection for that so you just need to select this inside edges it's like a edge loop so just select it with the shortest path selection and then you need to scale it along the x and y axis so just scale it down And then change the face orientation, so recalculate the normal, so you will get the right face orientation. Then into shade flat it, so select the spiral, select the cylinder and use the boolean operation difference. So you will get this spiral boolean at there on your cylinder. And that's look good. Now you just need to adjust its position and its scale. So you can create a right spiral. So then you need to apply that modifier. So just apply that boolean modifier and now we got this. Now select everything, press M, merge by distance so double words will get merge. After that you need to select these faces and then delete them. So you can see just select this top and bottom faces and then delete them. So just remove these unnecessary words so you can select the, select those words and control X to dissolve them and delete the unnecessary faces on your model. You need to select the words and then you need to press M and merge at last. And this thing you need to do and you need to create the triangle at there uh, because it's a little bit difficult to keep that face as it is. We can't add the loop cuts on the model so that's why we need to do that. And then you need to adjust the position of the words like this to maintain that edge flow. And then you can add the subdivision surface modifier and increase this level up to 2. Then select this top loop cut, top edge loop and then you need to fill the gap. But we are getting little bit difficulty so that's why we need to scale it along the z axis and give the value 0 to make it flat. So select the edge loop S, Z and give the value 0 and just use the double tap G to give the right position to that word. Then select these edge loops and press F to fill the gap and just use the insert operation. 
and now that's look good now you need to add the loop cuts like this but if we add that loop cut goes all around the mesh so we don't want to add something like that share smooth your model and that's look good and same thing you need to do at the top side is you need to fill the gaps and then you can use the loop tool also to create the circle at there and you can create the chord based topology at there and now you need to create the triangle here because we need to keep the triangle here to avoid those edge loops which goes across the model in this case so that's why just dissolve this edge loop and then we can do one thing we can select the words and then we can connect them to the that point to make that triangle or just we can keep them as it is as like a an angon it will be good to keep them as it is we are not getting that much issue there so in this way you can create this kind of spiral design for the hard surface i hope you will like this tutorial so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care